name is Paquette, autosource1.ca. This is a 2013 Volkswagen Passat TDI with a two liter engine. We're gonna change out the engine air filter and the cabin filter. We've already done the brake service and everything there and change the oil. I'll show you how to do the filters right now. Okay, first off, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a CA9711 from a Fram. That's the filter and change them out every 20,000 kilometers, roughly 20, 25. If you're on grid roads, good idea to do it a little sooner for sure. Up a T25 and start going to town. You've got screws everywhere around the whole thing here. We want to take them all off. Okay, so once you have removed all eight screws and they just pop up, lift this up like this, slide out your filter and put your new one in, reverse everything, very simple. So we're gonna slide in our new one, press it down firm, lock into place, and then slowly work your way around. These are all plastic stuff, so don't over tighten everything. I have my drill set on a very low setting. Got them all, one more right here. That's it, there is your engine air filter all done. For the cabin filter, you can pick up a Wix or a Fram or whichever. This one is a 24489. That's what you need. So just go underneath the passenger side dash and start removing this right here. There is a little screw right here. Just undo it. See it right here? Pull that out. And another one right here. You don't need a tool for it. Just gotta use your fingers. That's it, same thing. Pull this down, comes out like that. A lot of people forget about these. So this just pulls down, look at that. See that, very dirty. People forget about them, do it every year, absolutely. So let's get the new one and put it in. So now you got your new filter, there's the old one. You're gonna put this one back inside. But first, I'm gonna take an air gun and just blow that thing out. Well, it looks like the filter did its job because barely anything else came out of it, so. We're gonna clean the car anyway, so I thought I'd make sure there was nothing left inside and keep that box clean when we put the new filter in. So let's get it back in, just like that. Now we need that cover back. And you can see these hooks, they go up and then slide in. So they slide into there and then click sideways. Now this piece here, just clip it back in place, put those screws in and you're good to go. One of the reasons why people forget to do these is because the dealerships or the oil change loop places you go to want a small fortune to change them. So now you just buy the part. If you've bought the car here, we'll discount the parts themselves for you so you don't have to pay retail. And we're happy to put them in for you at a discounted rate as well. Or you just do it yourself like I just showed you. There you go. Thanks for watching. James Paquette, autosource1.ca.